Let's get something straight. There are two words, eating and cheating, that do not belong together. And I'll tell you why. My name is Neely with Neely on Nutrition and helping people on their journey to developing a healthy relationship with food. Now I know that some diet programs um, prescribe like maybe six days a week eating perfectly and then um, on the seventh day you can have this cheat day or um, prescribing this clean eating. It's kind of like implying that there's good foods and bad foods. It suggests that you're good when you're eating clean and not so good when you're not. No, 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 no. I had a client, one of my clients early on in my 12 week program, the Be Free Blueprint, she confided in me one week. And she said, you know, she said, I was bad this past week. I said, well, what do you mean? She said, you know, I, I've always had this good food, bad food mentality. And when I eat these bad foods, I'm bad. So we talked about that. I said, well, what kinds of foods are in your bad category? She said, well, I like, you know, pizza and burgers and fries and fried foods and sweets and treats and ice cream. And I said, so if a friend of yours had one of those foods, do you think she's bad? Do you judge her for eating those foods? And my client said, well, no. And I said, well, what about me? What if I told you that I eat those foods on occasion? Would you feel any differently towards me? Would you think less of me, your nutrition coach? I said, would you not want to work with me? She goes, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yes. She goes, no, I want to work with you. She said, I want to get over this good food, bad food, cheat meal kind of mentality. It's really wreaking havoc with my mental health. Over the course of our work together, we started to untangle and, and loosen up this knot that she had, this prison like she felt she was in. She worked on reframing her thoughts towards not cheat meals and not bad foods, but fun foods, fun meals, fun days, approaching it with a non-judgmental um, approach, which she found to be so very rewarding. What I ask and what I encourage people to do is not to have this cheat meal kind of a mindset. A cheat meal mindset is a short-term mindset. It's kind of like what I saw recently on social media. Your body is not Amazon Prime. <laughs> it's not gonna show up in two days. <laughs> a cheat meal mindset doesn't allow the consistency um, that's needed for a lifetime. A cheat meal mindset keeps you framed in this diet mentality mode, and it's just not a positive way to approach health and well being. Cheat meals, good foods, bad foods set you up for failure. It set me up for failure, it set my client up for failure. No. You are not a failure. I was not a failure. The diet, your program has failed you. What I'd like you to do instead is develop this freedom with food mindset. Reframe your thoughts. Banish that good food, bad food, that cheat meal kind of mentality um, and focus on fun foods, fun meals. Eat with permission. There's no food so bad that you should never eat it. Food should be enjoyed. It's not something that we should use to punish. If you want something, give yourself permission. Don't deprive yourself. Make a conscious decision to eat it. Like, I'm making a conscious decision to eat this cookie. When you learn to eat what you love in healthful ways and treat your body with compassion, you won't need cheat meals or cheat days. When you appreciate freedom with your food choices and um, enjoy guilt-free eating, it's empowering, not to mention that it's something that you're more likely to be able to do long-term. Remember, the best diet is the diet that you don't know you're on. From personal experience, I know. If this information resonates with you, if you're looking for a more gentle approach, you wanna make peace with food, click the link in the description, set up a phone call with me. If you wanna learn more, check out this video here, and I kinda of talk about the habits that, that I have myself, and then also that I encourage my clients to have. Thanks for watching, Neil Young Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Mm, so good.